today's video, we have a vlog slash haul. That is what we're up to today. It is pouring. It was literally a torrential downpour. It had just finished raining. Today, I am just doing a lot of admin work, LTK posts, vlog footage, figuring out some upcoming projects. So I've been spending a lot of time at home. For this video, I did wanna also do a summer haul roundup. I wanted to just share a couple of things that I have been really enjoying this summer, some recent pickups. But yeah, as you can see from the B-roll, we have a sponsor for today's video that I wanted to quickly give a shout out to. So thank you to Asus and Intel for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. I wanted to talk about their brand new ZenBook 14 Flip OLED, which has been so much fun to use, I gotta say. I'm all about devices that are easy to use, easy to travel with, and of course, as a content creator, graphics and video are so important to me, and I feel like it's very hard to find having all of that in one device is a game changer. So I know a lot of you are content creators, and so if you are shopping around for a brand new computer, check this one out because it has so many amazing features that I feel like really come in handy when it comes to social media and content creation. The computer has a core i7 processor, which means it is very fast and it is very good at handling what you need it to do, whether that is editing videos, creating graphics, but unlike most laptops, the ZenBook flips and so you can use it as a tablet. So not only do you not have to worry about carrying a tablet and a computer, I can go from answering emails to just scrolling with my hand, scrolling with my stylus. If I wanted to watch a video or a K-drama, I can easily go in tent mode. And I love the graphics on this because there is a true black feature where you are going to see how black the blacks are when it comes to video. This is something that is very impressive with OLED screens. The graphics on this are next level with the Asus Lumina OLED. It is Pantone validated for proper color display. And so that means what you are seeing on your screen is going to be very, very accurate when it comes to Pantone colors. It is low blue light certified, which means it'll be easier on your eyes. First, I didn't understand how important true black display was until Marco bought us a TV where you could see true black and how dark things actually are. And this is very important for content creation when it comes to graphics, web design. You wanna make sure that the colors that you are seeing on your screen are how it's going to actually appear. The screen really shows wonderful image and video quality display all in one device. Marco has been shopping around for a new computer as well. And so as an engineer, he has very high standards when it comes to a computer, but he absolutely loves this one. And so he will be using this for his stuff as well. So not only can I do my content creation or creative things with it, but Marco with an engineer background and always tinkering around with like the computer chip in his cars, uh, it's gonna come in really handy for him too. So he can easily flip it around and it's so much easier to handle rather than having it in just like kind of a laptop mode. Thank you so much to Asus and Intel for sending this over. To learn more about the ZenBook 14 Flip, check out the laptop and Intel processor in the description down below. So now, we are going to continue doing some work. And then I am going to be unwinding. Marco and I are actually doing date night tonight. We are going to be watching the Barbie movie. So I'm very excited. I don't own anything pink. That's all for me. So I'll see you guys later. Thursday. I have to head into the city today. I'm doing my head spa, which is recommended to be done like every season. So I go to Masa Kanai in the city. So we're gonna head out there in a little bit. I'm gonna be bringing my Celine bag with me. We're gonna do like my summer purchases breakdown when I get back. But I just love this for like an errand bag because it fits so much. So I have the smaller size in the rice color. I think that's what they. It. I have in here, I'm just gonna go into a little what's in my bag. I have my wallet, my lip oil, sanitizer, headphones, wired, not wired. I have my little um, mirror from Chanel, which is in this pretty like sage 
ish color. And then I also am bringing along my little Sony ZV-1 2. I think that's what it is. This is the new and improved um, little compact vlog camera. So I know I've talked about it before, but on the Korea and Philippines vlog, I brought my ZV-E1, which is a mirrorless full frame, so you can change out the lens. But this is like a little point and shoot, so I'm gonna be testing it out today. It's like a lot smoother, it has a wider shot. I'm excited to just play around with it. I haven't had a chance to, so always format your memory card after you've pulled all of the stuff from it, just so that it has less of a risk of getting corrupted. Compact little thing. This is what I was going to film with when I was in Miami with my sister-in-law, but then I decided to just kind of unplug for that trip. See you guys in the city. Was like not functioning this morning. Um, had a lot of fun taking Rebecca out for her birthday yesterday with Cassie and then kind of just winded up back at home. Got super tired. Mark and I had dinner, caught up with our current K-drama, which is King of the Land. Highly recommend if you're into rom-com, lighthearted, not too serious of a plot, but still kind of somewhat have a villain. But it's very good, very cute. Today, Marco and I are doing a lot of stuff around the house. I have these new curtains that I wanna put in our master bedroom. A mirror just arrived from CB2 that we're gonna try and mount in my office. And then I'm also gonna do my haul, but I do need to clean. So I do need to get to that. But yeah, I'm gonna have more stuff to show you guys once I'm like alive. Let me show you the curtains that I got. Okay, so if you don't wanna spend a ton for curtains, I really like this brand from Amazon, Jinchan. And then I got these also so that there's pleats in the curtains. Uh, just helps it look a little bit nicer. So this is what I have in my office slash closet. So got them for the master bedroom. It's gonna be working on this this morning while Marco drills a hole in my wall. I'm out of breath because I just carried this in. But look at how beautiful this mirror is just like stone details so pretty hopefully this can be not on my wall
cannot be going out to a 9 30 reservation anymore but it was the only one that they had open so we wanted to give it a try i recommend the yu i think marco and i could have shared a pasta dish instead of ordering one each it's funny because we sat next to a couple that had clearly just gone to see barbie because they were both in pink and the waitress that we had asked them like oh how'd you like it and the husband i didn't really get it like i think it was just more for her she enjoyed it so that's fine and i was just like Sir, you have completely missed the point of this movie. You were a Ken when you should be an Alan in a world of Kens. Anyways, want to get to this little mini haul. It's not even a summer haul. It's just a haul of things that I've recently picked up this summer. To be honest, I'm kind of just super ready for fall. So summer is where I like feel like I shop the least. That's a lie. Unless I have a vacation, Dish has been such a solid go-to for my linen pieces. I really like their stuff. Highly recommend if anyone is shopping around for good quality linen pieces. It is also really good, so very true to size. August is just kind of my cutoff for summer shopping, so I think I'm pretty good. Okay, let's get to my little mini haul. So first up is very summery. It's a bathing suit. This is from Mateau and I have like shown them before but I picked up this navy color. I feel the most comfortable in them. I don't really wear two pieces anymore. Maybe if I did like a little bit more Pilates by next summer I will be but for the most part I like a good one piece. I also picked up some sunglasses. This is from Net-A-Porter. These are Bottega. And I think after I got the metal ones from Gentle Monster in Korea, I just wanted to add a little bit more variety because all my sunglasses start to look the same to me, even though I can tell the difference. I really like these. I like the little cat eye shape that they take. And then in Miami, this is where the next few things are gonna be from. Got myself a small Lady DJoy. Yes, Cassie had me like, thinking about it a lot more. I actually tried this on in the micro size and this size when I was in Paris in February, but I just didn't pull the trigger. It's actually really into the blue color, but the Lady Dior for me is very elegant. It's very evening bag. So I figured this is the time to get a patent. I have a couple of weddings to attend and it is the perfect size because my phone fits in it and I have a Pro Max. So this fits nicely inside the bag. It would stick out with my mini Lady Dior, which is a square silhouette. So I really love this one. I think it's it just works so much better. And I also like that it comes with a short strap and a long strap. So this is the long strap where you can cross body the bag. But then obviously if you are using it for a special occasion and you want to throw it over your shoulder, you can just wear it like this. And it's just so cute. So I actually brought this out when we were in Miami. Dior's patent is the best in my opinion. And I just love 
the shine. I didn't want to get another just like plain black bag that could be used every day. I wanted something a little bit different and I don't have any patent in my collection so I'm very happy that I went with this one and she is so beautiful. Also I think ever since I got my color theory, like my personal color done, I've been gravitating towards this much lighter gold tone as well. So that is one of the bags that I've picked up this summer slash this year. Now we have another pair of sunglasses and these Chanel ones have been, I hear they're really hard to find, but I found them in Brickle in Miami at the beauty boutique. I got matching ones with my sister-in-law because we were there for her birthday. So she got the butterfly ones, which are a little bit more rounded. So they're a little bit bigger. These are the square ones. And I just love the two tone of them because when you're peering over the glasses, you can see the Chanel detail. Then it just has like a little logo on the side. This is my first Chanel purchase in a while. And actually, after I got this, I was like, oh, let me just wander into the Chanel boutique, take a look at the bags. And I was like, you know what? Nope, it's not doing it for me anymore because I looked at a classic flap and it was over $10,000 for medium. So crazy how much those prices have gone up in the recent years. Um, next, I have another bag. You might have seen this on Instagram already. This is the Bottega Arco, and I have actually loved this bag ever since it came out. I just think it's so chic. I describe it as like the perfect balance between a summer and city bag. I know that my Prada tote is no longer here, but that's because it was a very specific beach bag. Like you could bring it to the beach and then that's essentially it. I also wasn't really feeling the big Prada logo on it anymore. I like that this is very discreet and it's a very if you know you know bag. Also has such beautiful leather detailing all throughout and I like that the bag wasn't just all raffia you know like there's quality leather bits in it and it's so well made and it also has a detachable pouch also sales associates in design district this could be a marketing ploy but they were all so sweet and so nice and it just made me like ready to shop so this comes with a little detachable pouch and then this is the inside and I just like how long it actually drapes. Last but not least, I don't have with me, but I bought these sandals from Hermes when I was out with Cassie and Rebecca. I wanted like a nice black sandal that weren't my Aurons because the Aurons kind of read more casual. So these ones, I forgot the name of them, but I'll include a photo that they are just a little bit more dressy. And I like that they were permabrass, which is a very light gold. So sometimes it looks gold, sometimes it looks silver. So very excited to get those in. And then I actually also got Marco the Ismeris just so that he can have like a nice sandal to wear in the summer as well because that boy just wears his Birkenstocks and they're pretty beat up. That is it for this little mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Promise that the next upload is going to be the Manila vlog. It has just taken me some time just because some projects came up, had tight turnarounds. So thank you so much for your patience and your understanding and your love and support as always. So I'm gonna wrap it up because Marco went to go pick up dim sum. I am hungry. We're cleaning the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.